climate is changing. According to data provided by the World Meteorological Organization, the Earth has warmed on average by three-quarter of a degree Celsius over the last hundred years. The Trinidad and Tobago Met Service says that between 1971 and 1990, the annual average air temperature has increased by 0.8 degrees Celsius. A fraction of a degree is enough to determine a fever, so farmers are feeling the brunt of this climatic illness in their fields. Many of them shudder at the prognosis for the future of farming. Field crops have a ripple effect of high food prices, lower nutrition, greater risk of a health crisis, and an increase in unemployment. There is therefore a great need to find the so-called climate vaccine in order to keep our planet and the populations healthy. There are ways in which uh, we can already begin to, to look at, um, at, at ways in, in adapting to, to climate change in the agricultural sector, for example, um, conserving water through uh, prudent uh, irrigation practices, uh, perhaps relocating uh, farming uh, sites uh, where they may be prone to floods, um, to other areas, uh, examining where the soil type is, is uh, less prone to salt water intrusion, for example, um, and therefore relocating farmers in those areas. Many farmers are seeing the signs and are changing the way they operate in order to secure both their livelihoods and the nation's food. In terms of the being climate smart, we notice now that we get a lot less rainfall during the year, during the, the well, not less, we get shorter periods of rain, but it's a lot heavier. So you have to catch what you get to last throughout the year. Um, I plan to introduce some um, solar systems here, so I wouldn't be depending too much on the national system. So in case power goes, I would always have a steady backup instead of having to buy gas to run the generator. What I do in a way, planting above the ground, which, which I plant in vegetables. So if in case the, the water rise, I, I am above the ground, it wouldn't affect the plants. And then um, the water I use is to wet my plants is from a pond, which is clean water than the river water. And the raised beds allowed me to be able to control weeds, be able to um, target fertilizer in terms of where you place it. It allowed for less labor. It allowed for less manual labor for me. It allowed a quick turnover every week in terms of getting the beds ready to plant. And when it was time to harvest or see about during the four, five, four to six week cycle, it was even easier rather than going on the ground and facing those challenges. Agriculture and climate change are inextricably linked crop yield, biodiversity, water use, and soil health are directly affected by a changing climate. The FAO works with the government to build capacity in addressing climate change impacts on agriculture. We do this through a number of initiatives. One such initiative is the focusing on data collection and data analysis, both on the side of the farmers emphasizing the need for record keeping as well as on the government side recording accurately what is happening in the agricultural sector for all crops in order to make informed decisions. So we have developed a database that will facilitate the data collection and analysis as well as data dissemination. All of this is required so that the correct decision, informed decisions can be made on what interventions are best suited for, for farmers and the farming community in Trinidad and Tobago. We have to get away from this thing of doing these things since they're small. Who oh, I know these things since they're small. Since they're small, I, I, I'm 74 years now. When I was young and growing up there, we didn't have all these other things. Time changed, so you have to change the time. Now it's technology. When I started in my days, we didn't have, um, you know, had technology, you didn't have the computer to store things and, you know. So I have it home there, and I, when, when I look back at things that we did, 20 years, 30 years ago, right? It's alarming, but how could you reflect on that if you didn't have those records? You understand? So record keeping is very, very important. 
in collaboration with the Food and Agricultural Organization, the Ministry of Planning and Development, uh, through funding from the Green Climate Fund, um, ha has embarked on a project that will empower farmers uh, and capacity them to uh, collect quality data that will feed over time uh, into getting more robust uh, quality data sets that will go into uh, measuring the, the actual issues, uh, the, the parameters that uh, affect climate change uh, and therefore uh, will be able to generate more um, confident uh, model outputs as to what would be the exact uh, impacts on, on the agricultural sector and therefore um, we can with more confidence uh, devise adaptation options. Innovative climate resilient technologies and practices are sustainable crop and livestock production methods and tools that can be employed by farmers that will allow for the achievement of increase in on-farm productivity, increase in incomes, strengthening of resilience of livelihoods and ecosystems, and a reduction or removal of greenhouse gas emissions from the atmosphere. These technologies and practices, when appropriately combined, are expected to have a more positive impact on food security and adaptive capacity, while also contributing to climate change mitigation. Thank you.